Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Everybody, I want everyone to start today with the best thing we can say. Say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed this fadl, this blessing to be bestowed upon us. To be in a community such as this community. To be in a vibrant, beautiful environment as the one we are sitting in today. Gathered here to help spearhead a project that we will continue to see the fruits of for the, the next hundreds of years, inshallah ta'ala. With your help only, inshallah ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, on behalf of the leadership, on behalf of the scholarship, on behalf of the youth of East Plano Islamic Center, I welcome you all here. Jazakumullah khair for coming here and attending this fundraiser. Inshallah ta'ala, I am only going to be speaking very shortly after this introduction as we have many uh, speecher, speakers and speeches It's going to be a very fun night. But before inshallah, we kick it off and we begin. I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that we're here to fundraise, right? This is a disclaimer from now, inshallah. Although the food may think, make you feel like it's otherwise, because it's, we have some hot, delicious meals waiting for us outside. Brothers and sisters, my name is Murad Awad. For those of you that do not know me, I'm the youth director here in Epic. And I've been with the team for about two years. And these past two years, alhamdulillah, although mostly were COVID, but I had the greatest experience that I can have with a masjid and with a community. When I first came here, I was told that Epic thinks big, so we want you to think big. I came from an ordinary masjid, like any typical masjid. But I didn't understand what big meant until I saw the types of projects that our leadership think of for the future generations of our community. In the beginning, I was thinking small. Oh, Brother Samir, I would often go up to Brother Samir and tell him, hey, can we, can we do uh, this project? Well, it'll be amazing. He's like, Murad, no, no, no. That's not epic. I told him, what, what is epic? This is a good project. Well, it's nice. He's like, no, no, no. But it doesn't have the epic stamp. So alhamdulillah, years later now, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking big. And I just wanted to let Brother Samir and the board know that I'm thinking of our future location on Mars, inshallah, once we start inhabiting it. Right, that's uh, Epic's, uh, you know, 1,000 year plan. Right, do we have one? You know, sometimes I doubt it, that's how I'm thinking nowadays. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. But brothers and sisters, it begins with this type of project. Self-sufficiency. Independence, like Sheikh Yasir always says, the fundraiser that ends all fundraisers. This is what we are kicking off tonight, bi'idhnillah azza wa jal, with your help. And inshallah, without further ado, I would like to just uh, make a brief request from everybody. I know many of you attended the, the gathering in the endowment on the 7th, last week. And you received a card uh, for the raffle, like a small ticket for the raffle. If you have your blue ticket, raise your hand so our volunteers can come and take the numbers down from you, inshallah. If you have the blue ticket with you, the volunteers will come and take your numbers down, inshallah. Just raise your hand, raise them high, just so the volunteers are standing around, scanning the area for, for tickets. The fewer, the higher the probability that you're going to win. So if you, you don't see too many hands, alhamdulillah. That's good. Because we have a nice prize. Jazakumullah khair. So as we always do, we begin the night with the recitation of the Holy Quran with our beloved and one and only Shaykh Hafid Sajjad Gul. Tafaddal Shaykh. 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله جزاكم الله خير شيخنا and now, inshallah ta'ala, with one of our signature programs here in Epic. A program that everyone that follows us knows about from east to west. Our Hifz School program. It's a signature program and one of the greatest things that Epic offers its community. Our Hifz School, alhamdulillah, has about 100 students. And so far, 66 have graduated, completing the whole Qur'an from the brothers and the sisters side. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Today will also be a graduation ceremony and a receiving of diplomas for those uh, Hiv school students, inshallah, by Sheikh Ashfaq, inshallah. Sheikh Ashfaq is going to present the certificates to the Hiv school uh, students, bidnillahi ta'ala. Uh, when Sheikh Ashfaq decides to come around. <laughs> Sheikh Ashfaq, yeah. yeah. Hey, you always call me Murad, you know, like, that's not my name. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, la mushaha, alhamdulillah. Zakmullah khair. Ashfaq, tafadl, inshallah. We'll begin with the ceremony. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Most humbled and honored to be here. Uh, I want to say a lot about the school, a lot about our wonderful, most beautiful students, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pres preserve them and protect them. But tonight is about them. So inshallah, without any further delay, I would like to recognize the Hufad and the, uh, and the Hafidah of uh, 2020 and 2021. Unfortunately, last year we weren't able to do this, so inshallah we will recognize everyone together. So we will begin with our si uh, sisters. Mashallah, we have six, um, we have uh, five um, hafidah, uh, four from uh, 2020, um, and uh, one f uh, four from 2021, and one from 2020. So inshallah we will start with hafidah Fatima Khan. Mashallah. 
Please, as a sister, as you hear your names, please come up and receive your awards, inshallah. Sister Fatima Khan, uh, Hafiza Noor Ali Khan, Hafiza Mihreen Sayyid, Hafiza Fatima Asifa, and Hafiza Tasneem Awili. Um, sorry, I just I got lost in the heat of the moment. We're supposed to introduce our uh, our beloved leaders. Uh, we will start with, inshallah, our most beloved uh, uh, Ustad Bajur. Would you please join us up on stage? Imam Nadim, please join up on, uh, us up on stage. And our beloved Sheikh Yasser, please join us up on stage. My apologies for that. <laughs> sorry, it's my first time. <laughs> oh, the sisters are. Uh, Sister Fatima Khan. <laughs> Sister Noor Ali Khan. <laughs> Sister Mihreen Sayyid. <laughs> Sister Fatima Asifa. And Hafidha Tasneem Awili. Tasneem. Tasneem? Yes. Tasneem. I love Tasneem. Stay here, one picture. Oh, for the and a very, very special um, uh, award going out to Sister, Fa uh, Sister uh, uh, Hadia Master. She completed her Ijaza program in Hafsan Asim, Min Tariqat Shatibiya. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Inshallah, we will start with the brother's side now, inshallah. Uh, we will start with Hafid Muzammil Asif. Hafid Abdul Hadi As uh, Siddiqui. Hafid Zuhair Khan. Hafid Muhammad Mitin. Hafid Abdul Sabur Muhammad. Hafid Tazha Ahmed. Hafid Sayyid Abdul Samad. Hafid Hassan Master. Hafid Daha Sattar. These were the graduates of 2020, and these are the following are the graduates of 2021. Hafid Abdullah Mumandi. Oh, he's very popular, mashallah. Hafid Hamdan Siddiqui. Hafid Ashraf Al Kuhri. Hafid Al Hachima. Hafid Adil Hussain. Hafid Yusuf Hassan. Hafid Ibrahim Haq. 
حافظ محمد سيد حافظ محمد ايان and Hafiz Shu'aib Ali. And the last one, the most special award, the sister of sister, uh, the, the brother of sister Hadiya, MashaAllah, uh, Hafiz Taha Master, has also completed his ijazah. So, inshaAllah, please. MashaAllah. You need to send the back. As our students are leaving, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, protect them, preserve them. These are the future leaders of our uh, of this of the deen. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them the leaders that we see tomorrow. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them among those whom we pray behind and who lead this deen, inshaAllah. Ameen. At this time, we'd like to call on uh, Sheikh Sajjad and Hafid Harris. They have uh, trained the students and prepared a performance for the crowd, inshallah. So for a nasheed, we'd like to call up Hafiz Sajjad and Harris Nadim, along with uh, the students of Darul Quran, mashallah. When, when you hear the, the name of the Rasulullah please join in and uh, send the salawat upon him, inshaAllah. Harris. Harris, I can't go back. I'll stay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ورفعنا لك ذكرك 
رسول الله حبيب الله نبي الله شفيع الله صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على طال عالبدر علينا من ثانيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله داع جئت بالأمر المطاع جئت شرفت المدينة مرحبا يا خير داع أيها المبعوث فينا جئت بالأمر المطاع جئت شرفت المدينة مرحبا يا خير داع أنت شمس أنت بدر أنت نور على نور أنت مصباح الثريا يا حبيبي يا رسول رسول الله حبيب الله نبي الله شفيع الله صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم قال عالبدر علينا من ثانيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله داع طال عن نور المبين نور خير المرسلين نور وسلام نور حق ويقين سوقه الله تعالى رحمة للعالمين وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة رسول الله حبيب الله نبي الله شفيع الله صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم قال عالبدر علينا من ثانيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله داع أيها المبعوث فينا جئت بالأمر المطاع جئت شرفت المدينة مرحبا يا خير داع مرحبا يا خير داع إن 
الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما شاء الله تكبير تكبير ما شاء الله ما شاء الله may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect and preserve them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send salat and salam on our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, to conclude inshallah we have one more um, uh, performance we have a few students that will uh, that will say um, a few words inshallah so please I would like to call up on stage Amin uh, Hafiz Abdullah Mumandi and Hafiz Shu'aib Ali Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, as students of the Epic Hif School, we have a message for you. Alhamdulillah, the Epic community has grown at an extraordinary rate and has reached heights further than any of us could have imagined back then. And I want to give a big jazakallah khairan to every one of you for helping us through this journey and even in the times we needed you the most with your support and your generous donations. And we, as a generation after you, promise to keep and strengthen the foundation you have laid for us, but a little help would go a long way, inshallah. So with that being said, as you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with these abundant amount of resources, services, and activities that are available to us on a regular basis. But we now have to find a way to maintain and fund all of it. So Epic Masjid has actually invested in a piece of land to help with these funds, which is the Endowment Project Mission 2025. Currently, the Epic Masjid spends upwards of $2.3 million each year, and we expect that number to grow. This endowment project will help maintain the services that the Masjid provides for everyone and to help establish the truth of Islam. Just as you would plant the seed and water it every day and then leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we plant the seed by buying this piece of land. The water is your the generous donations. And at the end of the day, we leave our trust to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide the risk that the masjid needs us to keep going. And that's why we are calling out to all of you to help us reach our goal of 1.5 million or even to surpass that goal as your support will strengthen and uh, uh, strengthen the foundation we've built for our, gener for our generation and generations to come inshallah. It will also allow us to continue providing and serving for our blessed community and help establish Islam in the world that we live in today. Jazakallah khairi. Please, Please invest, invest us, us today, we are, today. We are worth it. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Beautiful performance by our Hev School students. Allahumma barik. Takbir, takbir, takbir. Look, I know some shiuch don't say that, 
They think takbir means supersize. You know, but we say takbir to mean what? Say Allahu Akbar. Right? So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah. We saw the product of our Hiv school here in Epic, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And there's only more to come. In the path of self-sufficiency, we're hoping Hiv school will be completely free. Completely independent. Completely self-sufficient. So we can offer the community countless hafad bi Azza wa Jal to enlighten the future and tread the path of spreading Islam here in the United States of America. And without further ado, inshallah, I'd like to present our Amir, our humble Amir, Imran Chowdhury, a brother that's wallahi, came to become very dear to my heart. As we worked together, he showed his true colors, wallahi, and he taught me, he was like a mentor for me. This brother taught me, I wouldn't say everything, I know in management, because I am a civil engineer, but he taught me a lot of what I know. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And he was also there for me in the hardest times. Brother Imran, tafaddal, jazakumullah khair. Very humble and honest and genuine brother. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah, that was great. Thank you, Brother Murad. And uh, MashaAllah, I don't think I need to speak anymore. These kids, they said it all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. The epic style, guys. Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. That's more like it, mashallah. So, first of all, welcome and thank you for joining us on this special night. Tonight, inshallah, we'll replant the seed of self-reliance that started many years ago by our founders and previous boards. Let me start by thanking first our esteemed guests. We have uh, our scholars and uh, many board members from other masajid and organizations. So thank you for coming. I want to thank our religious leadership. Sheikh Yasser, Imam Nadim, Ustad Bajur, Sheikh Murad, Hafiz Sajjad, Sister Sophia, and many others, all the teachers of Hif School and, and Sunday School and part time Hifs. Thank you so much. I want to thank our admin staff. Thank you so much. Bukhari Bhai, the, the front office, thank you so much for all you do for Epic. I want to thank our lifeline, the lifeline of Epic. And who's our lifeline? our volunteers. I want to thank especially our volunteers, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, and especially our sisters. Our sisters for the last two years, COVID or no COVID, they've been helping out in the masjid. May Allah bless you sisters. Thank you so much for being part of Epic. And lastly, I want to thank my brothers in crime, my brothers in the board, and I want to welcome them here on the stage. First, Brother Samir Sadiqi, our Vice President, he also takes care of sisters in outreach, Brother Samir Siddiqui. Brother Riyadh Chaudhary, our treasurer and sports committee. Brother Abu Bilal, education and IT. Brother Yahya Sheikh, schools, social services. Brother Basir Sayyid, facilities, social media, children, construction, and all. And then lastly, Brother Ashir Khan, he's not here, he's visiting his mother um, uh, overseas, inshallah. So, yeah, and uh, brothers and sisters, these are the brothers. They are, they are the ones that do all the job. Seriously, I'm just standing here and talking to you, but I love these brothers because without them, we could have been here, you know, so all jazakallah here for all of your efforts. So just stand here, stay here, stay here, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, in the past few years, Epic has been one of the fastest growing communities in North America, one of the fastest. Hundreds of families have made the Epic community their home in just last three, four years, hundreds. And the question is, why? Why so many families are moving to Epic while the options are numerous? 
there are many options out there in Dallas and many other cities. Why coming to Epic? And the question can be answered by just one answer. And you know it. It's the quality and the quantity of Epic services. Takbir. Alhamdulillah, with the help of Allah, Epic is providing the largest number of services that any organization can provide in, in the U.S. EPIC is a center not only focused on, on one gender or one age group. EPIC caters to every member of the family and that is the secret sauce of our success. Whether you are a senior or a brother or a sister or a youth, male, female, children, Alhamdulillah, you will find something in EPIC for everybody. Brothers and sisters, as mashallah our HIF school kid said, all of these top-notch services, they come with an expense. And our yearly expense last year has exceeded $2 million a year. And we cannot, I can tell you by experience, we cannot sustain this expense every year through just the fundraisers. And time has come for Epic now to take a big leap into self-reliance. And, and Alhamdulillah, with the investment that we made, we just did that. We are launching tonight, we are launching Mission 2025. What is Mission 2025? The Mission 2025 is that inshallah, in two to three years, before 2025, we want to bring a million dollars every year recurring from the investment that we have made. Takbir. Takbir. We have invested in a retail building that will generate $250,000 for us on annual basis, recurring basis. And Alhamdulillah, a beautiful land, 2.6 acres, where we can build yet another building, a shell, or anything that's gonna bring us, inshallah, at least half a million dollars on a yearly basis. With that, and what we have with Epic Suites, inshallah, and this investment as it grows, inshallah, inshallah, we're gonna reach one million in three years. I can promise you that. Inshallah, with the help of Allah and all of your support, inshallah, we will achieve our mission 2025, sooner than 2025, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I promise you that inshallah, with your help and inshallah, your support, we can get there. We just need just to push each other a little bit. So let me ask you before I go, are we ready for mission 2025? Are we ready for mission 2025? Let the whole masjid up and down hear it. Are we ready for mission 2025? Are we ready? Takbir. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Wallahi, these brothers that you saw standing before you, they work more than all the staff. I'm going to tell you that. All of them, alhamdulillah. These guys, these brothers that you saw here, that you might not see too, too much, or they might be in the conferences, in the offices, and whatnot. They dedicate so much of their life, and their time, and their experience to this cause, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, on the voluntary basis. Jazamallah khair. One more round of applause for the board. I'd like to ask everyone to just keep the, the sound down, inshallah, so, so we can transmit the messages clear, especially the sister's side. I hear a light. It's loud on this side. Also on the brother's side, towards the Hafad area. We could just keep it, keep it low. You know, they didn't stop reciting. They went, sat down, alhamdulillah. They continued to recite Quran, Allah Mubarak. So, Inshallah ta'ala, now I wanted to introduce a very great asset to this community. A person that added so much value to the community of East Plano Islamic Center. A teacher in UNT, 
who teaches philosophy and religion, a person who has many ijazas in Islamic history, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic sciences, and the list goes on and on, mashallah, with a huge resume only to impress a community that, is, that needs this type of person, Sister Amina Chowdhury. Give her a round of applause, brothers and sisters. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. As-salatu wa salam ala rasulihi al-kareem. Wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Bi rahmatika ya ar-ramu ra'imin. Dear community members, as-salamu alaykum. And it's a great pleasure to see you all here today as we move forward uh, with the vision 2025 of our epic masjid. We came to this community when epic was a baby when EPIC was in a single suite. I was also part of the EPIC exodus, I call that, when we all walked from that small masjid to this huge building. It felt like that. As, as Banu Israel were walking behind Musa salam, we were maybe walking behind Imam Nadim and you know, coming to the masjid, I remember that as well. And mashallah, it's a huge pleasure and we are so grateful to Allah Ta'ala to see this today. But dear community members, I want also uh, for us to come together today and think about something very important. And I often think about this verse of the Quran when I hear things that are troubling to Muslims living in the West. I think about this verse of the Quran when I, when I hear the geopolitical situation that is happening uh, with the Muslims in the world. I think about this verse of the Quran when my sisters in my classes come to me and express that how can we raise good Muslim sons and good Muslim daughters with all the influences that we have around us. I think about this verse of the Quran when in a university I come across students from Muslim households so confused and you know so broken that they don't know what to do because they have a double personality at home and one is at the university. This is the verse of the Quran, surah number or chapter number 8, verse number 65. I think about this a lot of time and in this verse Allah Ta'ala speaks to Prophet Muhammad and Allah Ta'ala tells him to motivate the believers. And Allah Ta'ala tells him, motivate the believers and the essence of the verse is that 20 of them will be powerful and have, will have more strength than 200 of those who are not believers. Allah Ta'ala then again says, 100 of them are going to be more powerful than thousands of them who don't believe. Amazing verse. And then at the end of the verse, Allah Ta'ala gives the reason why these 20 believers will be more powerful than the 200 non-believers. Why these 100 are going to be more powerful than the 1000? Because the non-believers, they lack understanding. This is an amazing verse. This is Allah Ta'ala saying that, that the real strength in this world is not politics or power or geopolitical position. The real power in this world is the right understanding. And that right understanding is, first of all, to be conscious of who I am. What is the purpose of my life? Who is Allah Ta'ala? What is my relationship with him? When a person understands this, this person is 10 times, 20 times, 100 times more powerful than anyone else. So Allah is telling us, it's not about the numbers. It's not about politics. It's not about your geopolitical position. They're all secondary. 
First of all, it's about understanding the reality. Now the question is, to all of you, I want us to think about this. How are we going to gain this understanding? If what we see what's happening to the Muslims now, it means we lack that understanding. The next question is, how are we going to gain that understanding that Allah Ta'ala is speaking about, that this will give you the strength? Dear community members, I've been part of academia for a very long time. I have taught students from many different backgrounds. I have been on many different levels in education and I've realized one thing. This present education system, which all of us very work very hard to send our children to. You know, we want them to go to the best schools, best colleges, best universities, best degrees. But this present education system only serves two institutions, only serves two systems. It serves bureaucracy and it serves industrialized system. It serves capitalism. It serves all of that. And Allah Ta'ala is telling us, the real understanding is the understanding of your being, of your Lord and your relationship with Him. This person is going to be more powerful than a person whose understanding and consciousness is connected to capitalism or patriotism or nationalism. But this is exactly what this present education system does. My dear community members, let me tell you this. The schools, the colleges, the universities, the Ivy Leagues are not going to make your children critical thinkers. They don't want them to become critical thinkers. They are not going to allow them to have spiritual freedom. This is because it doesn't serve their purpose. They are going to train them to fit into the economic capitalistic system which serves them. Meaning, no matter how much you spend on this, your children, our future is not going to gain the understanding that Allah Ta'ala is talking about over here that will give them the strength over the 20 or 200 or 1000. So now the question for us is, should we not send them to these schools and colleges and universities? No, we have to. There is no choice. We have to send them. They have to gain those skills. But they are not going to come out with the understanding that this ayah talks about. And you know where this understanding will come from? How are we going to allow, to make it happen for our future to gain that that understanding that brings them to the strength that we have to invest in our institutions. We have no choice. And dear community members, let's be honest. How much do we spend on those institutions as compared to our institutions? The institutions that are going to give or are going to enable your children to gain the understanding to have that strength. How much we spend here and how much do we spend there? I think all of you will agree with me. Schools and colleges and universities and the degrees give you a skill. You're a skilled doctor, you're a skilled engineer, you're a skilled lawyer. But knowledge, the true understanding is Islam. And that's the reality. If we want to live up to this verse of the Quran, we have to invest in our institutions. There is no other choice. If you just want, do this simple experiment. All of us, our children watch Disney, right? Disney movies, Disney this. Go and check out for the past 90 years how Disney has been shaping the mindset of our youth, how Disney has been creating this racism in the minds of these young people who take them away from the understanding that this verse is talking about. Just Disney. Just go and Google and see. Just, just type. 
Disney and racism and tons of videos will come up the the movies the clips that your children have been watching how they have been shaping the minds of them my dear community members on a very serious note i would like to ask all of you we have to create our institutions we have to invest in our institution and epic has taken up to be one alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin when i started teaching at epic i realized that this vision is a vision that they also carry and you know among all of that what really attracted me for the past 150 years there's a huge vacuum in terms of female scholarship and i have seen the platform of epic very willing to revive that my dear community members if you look up in history you will see how a person like imam malik he takes the time to teach his mawatta to his daughter you will see that and this now his daughter she becomes a muhaddisa and teaches it further where is that now where is that now where are the muhaddisat that we see that had the legacy in islam my dear community members we have to revive that there is no other choice so today standing here as a mother as an educationist as a member of the community i would appeal to all of you we have to invest in our institutions if we want our children to have that understanding that this verse is talking about where allah taala says the 20 are going to be more stronger than 100 and 100 are going to be stronger than 1000 it's never about the numbers it's never about the resources it's only about the right understanding jazakum bil khairan kathira thank you so much <laughs> Jazakum Allah khair sister Amina for the beautiful speech. I felt I was in college for a little bit. I don't know about you, but that's how high end intellectuals speak, mashallah tabarakallah. Sister Amina has very deep insight on what is going on with the youth and what's happening around us inshallah and hopefully will help impact the future generations bi idnilla azza wa jal. And now inshallah with the next uh this next person I'm going to introduce is someone who has became very dear to my heart with time the more i get to know him the more uh, the, the closer i get to him known for his beautiful smile his light heart allahumma barik his very long recitation in salat al fajr everyone knows this and inshallah according to sister amina's analogy the moses of the epic exodus without the staff of moses imam nadim السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على رسوله محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين what an amazing scene may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all no i mean you don't want the blessing of allah may allah bless you may allah bless your children may allah subhanahu bless your wealth may allah subhanahu bless your life i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all every good that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has ever asked for may Allah protect us all in our families and our upcoming progenies from every evil and harm that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has ever sought protection from amin rabbil alamin leading up to this event just talking to some many of the community members some of the community members are thinking that what exactly is this waqf system and what is the importance of this waqf system because for so many years for so many decades we are accustomed to the charitable fun, um, fundraising system we are not aware of this waqf system so let me give you a quick ride through islamic history just give you few examples of how waqf in this awqaf system makes a difference first of all is that 
in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one of the very first of Qaf systems that was established was by a man whose name was Mukhayriq. He was a man who participated with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the battle of Uhud. And on the day of Saturday, because he was a Jewish man, he went to his people and he said that I urge you all to go and fight alongside with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of Uhud. And they excused themselves because of the day of Sabbath. And he went and he participated and he passed away. And we know that how many injuries Rasulullah sallam he sustained in that battle. But when he was informed, Rasulullah sallam he had a heavy heart. And subhanAllah what we learn is that before he passed away, he told his people that if I were to die, I have seven gardens. Some books of history mention that he has seven farms. He says that if I die, you give all of them to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he found out and the Jewish community came forward to give that to him, to, to the Prophet alayhi salam, based on the request of Mukhayriq, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he turned that around and he made that into one of the very first awqaf systems. Brothers and sisters, our Islamic history is very clear that the Oqaf system is perhaps the most effective sustainable system. During the golden ages, Islam spread across the Middle East, Central and South Asia, North Africa, and the system that helped Islam spread and thrive economically was the Oqaf system. In fact, according to some scholars, there was approximately 35,000 Oqaf systems during the Ottoman Empire. Each of these Oqaf systems, they helped in shaping the Ottoman Empire. They helped, they helped the, the schools, they helped the libraries, and they supported the masajid, the universities, the libraries, the hospitals, the business centers, and they helped structurally maintain all the ar architectural sites. And it's said that so much so that the Oqaf systems accounted for 27% of all the expenditures in the Ottoman Empire. With the collapse of the Ottoman Empire at the end of World War I, the entire Muslim world left and they dropped and they abandoned the Oqaf system and they pursued the fundraising and the charitable system. But the reality is, brothers and sisters, that the world is starting to realize that this is not the way going forward. We're starting to realize that the only way going forward is to develop an Oqaf system because right now we are living in a time where people are being drained. Hence, the charitable and the fundraising method is a short-term solution and the Oqaf system is a long-term solution. Brothers and sisters, this Oqaf system, when we say to our community that this Oqaf system will help the masjid, it's not gonna help only the masjid and paying the salaries of all the employees. But this will help every single aspect that is associated with EPIC. It's going to help the dawah activities. It's going to help social services, educational services, outreach, and overall community benefit. We see and we have been told that when you invest, then you will see the benefits of this. Right now, as we sit here in this gym, we have so many fundraisers for this gym. And alhamdulillah, we're able to fundraise and give for this gym. Brothers and sisters, do you know how much money we are able to save when we are sitting in this gym on a fundraiser night? I kid you not when I say that we used to have our fundraisers at a location called South Fork Ranch. You remember, yes or no? That place, if we were to go there today, the price would be $90,000. Let that sink in for a moment. $90,000 to have a fundraiser, but because you donated and you invested, alhamdulillah, today we're able to save that. Brothers and sisters, this is the reality. Let's start working smarter and let's not work harder. Let's work efficiently and not inefficiently. Let's work effectively and not counterproductive. 
Finally, I'll give you the example of a tree. You know, when you want to develop something, when you want to, in, when you want to, uh, you know, bring something into existence, whatever you use, whatever things that you have to use to your disposal, those are the same exact things that are needed in order to keep it existing. One is to develop something, one is to sustain it. When I want to plant a tree, I will put a seed into healthy soil. I will provide water and I'll provide sunlight. Likewise, when that tree grows and it becomes a full grown tree, the same three things are needed. Healthy soil, water and sunlight. Likewise, we have developed, alhamdulillah, everything around us through your donations now to sustain this we will continuously uh, come to the community and we plead to you and I implore you that today please open up your heart and give for this awqaf system I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us immense amount of barakah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help our upcoming generations ameen rabbil alameen jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Jazakumullah khair, Imam, for the passionate speech. Wallah, indeed, it's very important. Today, it's not just the facility we're doing or we're trying to build, like this gym, but we're trying to build a future, perhaps that stretches for hundreds of years, inshallah ta'ala. And now, inshallah, with our next speaker, someone who does not need an introduction, the greatest, according to me and according to many, asset to this community and one of the dearest people in this community to my heart, someone I continue to learn from, uh, known for his exquisite way of expressing Islam and his relating it to the Western context, unlike anyone that preceded, preceded him. Someone who's known for, dare I say, controversial fatawa sometimes. But for the most part, the greatest benefit and asset to this community, Dr. Yasser Qadi, Jazakumullah khair. Tfadda. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa lahma ba'd. First, a correction. The greatest asset that we have with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in my opinion, it is our youth that are doing the hifz, the brothers and sisters. This is where Allah's barakah will come. These young children that are doing hifz day in and day out, they're coming to the masjid every single day. I come here, I see them all running up and down, doing their hifz. That is our greatest asset. After that, our asset is all of us here as a community and I'm a member of the community. Brothers and sisters, time is tight. I want to get straight to the point. How many of you in this audience, how many of you were born in another land and came here to America? Please raise your hand. I would estimate 80% of the audience is raising its hand. If I were to ask you why you came here, what was the goal, what was the vision? I believe that most of you would say, we wanted a better future for ourselves and our children. We wanted to make sure that our children had opportunities of education and of scholarship and of leadership and of a life that was better than what we had back home. And dare I say that most of you have achieved that goal. Dare I say your sons and daughters are living far better at their age than you did at their age back when you were at home. You have achieved that vision of providing your children a better career opportunity, a better education, a better standard of living. You have handed your children this dunya on a silver platter. And the fact of the matter is they don't even appreciate what they have. Is that, is that not the case? Is that not the case? We have to tell them, when I was your age, this is what I used to do. It doesn't matter, it's on lost years. But still, alhamdulillah, the bar has been raised for them. They are, insha'Allah ta'ala, going to be smarter than us. They're going to be better educated than us. They're going to have better careers than us. But my question to you tonight, you have invested in the education and the careers and the standard of living of your children. But have you invested in the deen of your children as you came here? 
That is the question that you need to think about. You have raised the bar of education in the secular realm. You have ensured that the house that they live in is far better than the house you lived in when you were their age. You're giving them food quality and a safety of living that you could not even dream of when you were their age. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah for that. Alhamdulillah. But what have you done to protect their deen? Because frankly, that is far more important than their dunya. What have you invested to raise the bar and make sure that their religion is preserved? Because dear parents, dear parents, back home, there were checks and balances to maintain your Islamic identity. There were checks and balances to make sure even if you weren't that religious, you remain within the faith. But moving to this land, there are no checks and balances after the blessings and mercy of Allah. There are no checks and balances in society. The closest thing that we have is a community. And that community, it has to take on the society that you guys grew up in. It has to act as checks and balances. It has to imbibe within our children a love of Islam, an appreciation of the culture and the heritage of being who they are. And that is why today, we're always raising the bar at Epic, but today we're gonna raise the bar even more. We're gonna continue raising this bar because let's face it, for how long can we come to you year after year and squeeze you for more money? The same amount we needed and more we needed for how long? And let's be honest, I ask a very, very difficult question. Parents, are you listening to me? Are you listening? I'm asking you, do you think your children will have the same zeal and enthusiasm to donate to the masjid as you do right now? Do you think they will understand how important it is to preserve the deen when they're your age now? Think about that. Because you made the choice to come here. Alhamdulillah, nobody's complaining, I thank Allah. But that choice is on you. That choice you made, you have to invest in their future. You invested in the future of the dunya. Now it is time to invest in the future of their deen. And the whole point of tonight is going to be the first fundraiser to end all fundraisers. This is not the end, but this is the beginning of the end. That is the goal. The first fundraiser to finally have a Ramadan where we don't have to come and say, brothers, sisters, one more year. We want to get beyond that. We want to be able to self-sustain. There is not a single masjid in North America. I repeat, not a single masjid that has an endowment that makes it self-sustainable. And that is a tragedy. And we here at Epic, inshallah ta'ala, that's my vision and goal. We shall be the first fully sustainable masjid in all of North America. That is the vision and goal. And I know we can do it inshallah ta'ala. I want to give you a personal anecdote. I want to give you a personal anecdote about my own life. Alhamdulillah, as you're aware, my parents came here. Born, I was born and raised here, studied engineering, went and studied overseas in Medina. And financially, it was, I had to, you know, take a loss when I left my engineering degree. When I was in Medina, I was applying for PhDs. I'm wondering, how am I going to finance myself during the PhD? How am I going to finance? At that time, I had three children. At that time, I was 30 years old and I did not have a job or career. And I'm wondering, I want to do a PhD, how am I going to do that? But I know I had the, the desire, I had the drive, inshallah, alhamdulillah, I had the grades, so I applied and I got accepted to multiple universities. Alhamdulillah. I got accepted to Yale, as you're all aware. And when Yale's offer came to me, it said that over 10,000 people have applied for the PhD, and only 600 of those 10,000 got accepted. Very small, 6%. And Alhamdulillah, they said, you are one of them. Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah for that. Then they said, if you accept this offer, we shall give you five years stipend that will take care of your and your family's needs. We shall give you subsidized housing. We shall give you free medical for you and all of your family for as long as you're here. And I was doing the math, how can this institution pay me so much money? It was enough for take care of me. It's not, it's not a large amount of money, but it's enough. I don't have to pay them. I didn't pay them. They're paying me to be a student. How can they give me subsidized housing? How can they give free health care to my family? The first day that I went to the Yale program, I got accepted. They gave me the tour and they told us the whole story. 
in the year 1701, that's 300 plus years ago, 1701, they opened up Yale College and a businessman by the name of Mr. Elihu Yale, that's why his name is Yale, he gave a whopping $500 to start the endowment of Yale. $500 was the beginning of the endowment of Yale. $500 back then was still a large amount, but it's still not a fortune. 500 is maybe 50,000 equivalent hour time. Still not that much, but it is a good amount. Over the next 300 years, that 500 continued to grow and grow and grow and grow. Until finally today, the endowment of Yale is over $30 billion a private institution of education. They don't spend their money on welfare. They don't spend their money on building public buildings. They spend their money to attract the highest talent, the best minds, the best library, the best college professors. And that's why they are who they are. This is what money buys you. When you have money, you can attract the top quality. You can give back to your community. You can be a world-class institution. Can you imagine, can you imagine dear Muslims, a time will come and I am confident it will come when our East Plano Islamic Center's endowment is going to be giving us more money than we can spend on our masjid. Because that's the goal. The goal is not just to pay the staff and to make to take care of the children. The goal is we have so much money that we start thinking nationally. We start thinking what can Epic do? Epic can build hospitals. Epic can have a soup kitchen. Epic can have a presence in the Dallas area we will become a beacon of Islam in North America. That's the goal. But in order to get there, we need the finances. And in order to have the finances, we need to move beyond the fundraisers. I was at Yale for five years. Five years I was there. Not once did they ask any fundraiser for anybody. They don't need money anymore. They have $30 billion. What are they going to do with my $500, $5,000? They don't need it anymore. But that 30 billion, it starts with 100, 200, 500. Once you do the math and you compound it and you invest and you nurture, these small amounts become magnificent quantities. That is why we are here today. Today, insha'Allah ta'ala, today is the first day of the endowment. In other words, all of you sitting here today, you are attending the historic inauguration of the waqf. The waqf will one day, one day, insha'Allah, be tens of millions, 100 million, insha'Allah. But today is the day it all begins. And when history is recorded, and when people talk about the East Plano Islamic Center and the history of the East Plano Islamic Center, they will mention the waqf of, of Epic. And they're going to mention the Epic fundraiser that began it all. And this is the opportunity that Allah has given me and you. The seed that we plant today, it is the deepest seed of the whole waqf project. What you're going to plant will be the foundation of every single fundraiser and every single donation that's going to take place afterwards. You shall be the base of all bases. You shall be the deepest of all seed. So what you give today, Allah knows what's going to happen after 50, 100, 200 years and how many projects are going to be happening. We will long be gone from this earth, but inshallah, we will be continuing our good deeds and the waqf will continue to shower us with what we don't even know because we donated for a cause we believe in brothers and sisters brothers and sisters mothers and fathers parents you are not donating to this building you are not donating for the salaries of the employees you are donating for the future of your children. That's what you're donating for today. So never forget that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make tonight's fundraiser an epic fundraiser. May we raise more funds today than we have ever raised. And may this be the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end of all fundraisers for epic. That's our goal today. And inshallah ta'ala, we are going to meet it. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair, Dr. Yasser, for the passionate speech. Wallahi, brothers and sisters, we can't stop speaking about the importance of this fundraiser. 
This is not your typical fundraiser. This is for the future. It's not feeding orphans. That's important. It's not building facilities. That's important. But this is something much bigger and greater. And this is an opportunity to take part in it. This is an opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought to our hands. But brothers and sisters, I want to show you a video. You see, Epic, for those, for the newcomers, the ones who came to this beautiful facility, you have to know that Epic wasn't always like this. Epic was not always like this. It had a story behind it. And inshallah, with the video that we want to present to you on the screens on both sides, we want to give you a glimpse of the story, inshallah ta'ala. And now with the video, bi Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God be with you all. The East Plano Islamic Center, or formerly known as EPIC, has been serving the extended Plano and Dallas community for almost two decades now. It has become the epicenter of excellence in building community, collaboration, outreach, and education. Through the years, EPIC has focused on a growth mindset in all programs and in all areas of service. What began from a small trailer home for prayer has now transitioned into one of the most beautiful and vibrant mosques in North America. Epic stands tall on a 13 plus acre land with state of the art technology, gym, fitness center, youth lounge, educational classrooms and much more. On a daily basis, EPIC is populated by thousands of attendees during the Friday prayers and hundreds during the daily prayers. There are a variety of programs held during the week, including technical and non-technical trainings, career services, coffee socials, and book club. Weekends at EPIC have historically been for families as a wide array of programs are offered separately for the youth, the sisters, and for the men. Youth programs have included bonfires, Friday night lights, tarbiya programs, while sisters have continued to grow their social and educational opportunities through Friday halaqas and weekend lectures with the shiyukh. Weekends at Epic have also been reserved for conferences such as Islam's view on LGBTQ+, challenging the Zionist narrative of Palestine, the last hundred years of decolonization of the Muslim world, and fiqh programs that are specifically geared towards women and their matters. These conferences were attended by thousands from across the nation. Social and outreach services have been key goals of EPIC. This has led to multiple interfaith opportunities, ongoing civic engagement, and an opportunity to engage in social justice causes. Building relationships with other nonprofit organizations have been the hallmark of EPIC during these years as they worked with organizations such as Homeless Shelters, Habitat for Humanity, North Texas Food Bank, network of ministries, hospitals, and many more. EPIC has always strived to keep its community socially conscious by offering programs such as candidate forms, encouraging participation in city boards and commissions, and hosting seminars with law enforcement agencies and social justice groups. Interfaith activities have also gained momentum during the past couple of years as EPIC participated in jail da'wah, da'wah workshops, and hosted sharing Ramadan and other interfaith programs. EPIC has managed to create a disaster relief team that has engaged with the extended DFW community in a variety of ways. Some of these are represented by an ongoing weekly food pantry 
seasonal blanket drives, and meal distribution. An example of a successful disaster relief initiative was during the winter storm of 2021, when Epic responded by reaching out to deliver more than 1,500 meals at doorsteps. And one of them was like, you know, he said that I have a family of four. And then when we gave him extra also, he said, oh, can I have one meal to eat right here? I said, absolutely, sure. He said, I'm going to eat it in my car. I said, no, why in your car? It's freezing outside. Come in the kitchen. We, some of the volunteers took him to the kitchen, got him water and sat him down. And then when he came out, he said, thank you. I haven't eaten in three days. And distributed more than 500 blankets, gloves, and hats to the homeless around the community. Epic's weekly food pantry program that began at the onset of the pandemic has served over 350,000 meals to families, regardless of race, religion, or ethnicity. Epic's financial aid program has distributed over $350,000 to individuals and families while supporting various local and national nonprofit organizations with an additional $400,000. Epic's free on-site and telemedical clinic, which began more than a decade ago, has served over 1,600 patients and continued to support the community during the pandemic. During the pandemic, Epic organized five COVID-19 vaccination drives and administered over 400 vaccine shots in collaboration with different organizations such as Safeway and AMWPA. Epic's educational services have been the highlight of Epic's success over the years, especially during the pandemic, offering a broad spectrum of technical, non-technical business and entrepreneurship classes that have to date educated more than 6,000 students. Epic has now extended its educational programs to form Epic Labs to create an environment that promotes education and fosters innovation in areas of STEM. The full-time HIV school has more than a hundred students enrolled and has produced innumerable hufav from boys and girls over the years. The Sunday School, Nadra School, Weekend Special Ed School, Fitya classes are all stalwarts of exemplary education with a total of 660 students enrolled. Okay, what did you learn over there? Mm. Did you learn uh, the dua for sleeping? Mm. What is it? Bismika. Amutu. Wa'ahiya. Mashallah. In the past couple of years, Epic's YouTube channel has grown exponentially from a mere 3,000 subscribers to more than 188,000 subscribers and averaging over 1.5 million views per month. As Epic look towards the future, there are many more similarly innovative and much needed services that are in the pipeline. Epic is looking towards establishing a full-time food pantry and a regular Meals on Wheels service. Additionally, a mobile medical clinic is being established. With the rapid increase of our community members, Epic is working on establishing in-house funeral services and an expansion of the Dawr Quran school. 
The concept of waqf and endowment is not new to Epic. It was introduced by the early pioneers of Epic and has only gained momentum with the passing years. Mission 2025 is another substantial step in that direction to fully support the expansion of Epic's programs and its services into the future, the need for a stable endowment is becoming increasingly necessary. Mission 2025 is Epic's response to this need. The investment into the Waqf is one that promises to support Epic's growing expenses, but also is a step towards self-reliance. This endowment will allow Epic the stability to further expand its services to benefit us and our future generations. As Muslims, our reliance is entirely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then we look towards our community for support. Epic will always need the support and the generosity of its community members. But through this endowment, Epic hopes to establish an ongoing support system that will give our community and our masjid an opportunity to further expand and fulfill our spiritual and social obligations. We hope you will join us and support Mission 2025. Be part of this Sadqah Jariyah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Another round of applause. I didn't like the first one, guys. Allahumma <laughs> barik. Jazakumullah khair. Wallahi, looking at everything that Epic is doing is an inspiration to all of us. So far, brothers and sisters, with your donations, you've seen what Epic has done. It's before you. It's in front of your eyes. It's not like you donated for a facility that's not being used for a great cause. Wallahi, with this endowment, you're only fueling what you see and much, much more, inshaAllah ta'ala. And now, bi-ibnillah I want to introduce uh, our final uh, part of the program. If you don't worry, dinner's coming, but after this part of the program, inshaAllah ta'ala. So let's make it very quick. The spearhead, and dare I say, one of the masterminds planning this endowment project. The person, wallahi, Yani, you know what I call him? The Habibi of all Habibis. Ustad Muhammad Bajur. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let me put this on never, so keep, keep the, the phone on, because I know you're going to keep texting me. Display and brightness, never. Okay. <coughs> MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Allah Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my favorite dua, Allahumma harrim hadihi al wujuh al tahira an al nar. Ya Allah, protect all these beautiful faces from the hellfire. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I'm going to start this today, inshaAllah ta'ala. I'm not going to talk anymore about the project. MashaAllah, Moses, Brother Sheikh Yasir, and everybody have spoken so much about it. That's your new name, Imam. Moses. <laughs> Uh, so inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to start with a beautiful dua inshallah for everybody. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal with the best of his names. Ya Allah, I ask you with the best of your names with everybody who attended tonight. Ya Allah, bless their children. Ya Allah, protect their descendants. Ya Allah, fill their homes with love and peace and mercy and tranquility. Ya Allah, put barakah in their deen, put barakah in their time, put barakah in their wealth, put barakah in their health. Let me hear an Ameen. Let me hear an Ameen. Ameen. Before we start the fundraising, SubhanAllah, believe it or not, the biggest donation tonight is coming from a sister. The biggest donation tonight is coming from a sister. Ready? Katie, you ready? Just stand here. The camera can put it on her. <laughs> okay. 
Where's the mic? Working? Okay. Mike, one sec. Okay. Give her the mic. Ashhadu. 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 Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that Muhammad. That Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Is his final messenger. Is his final messenger. Takbir. 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 I'm very grateful to Katie for giving us this a great opportunity. She was very nervous. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Rasulullah, why did I say this is the biggest donation? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, for one person to be guided by you is better for you than the whole dunya and everything in it. Allahu Akbar. And this is one thing, one of the things that Epic is doing, attracting the people to the deen of Islam. Sister Katie has been watching me and all the shiyukh on YouTube, alhamdulillah, rabbi alameen. And then she decided to make that move. Please, I, I promised her to ask you to keep her in your dua because subhanallah, we all were born, or most of us were born and raised in a Muslim household. But there are people, wallahi, you do not know what they're going through. You do not know what they're going through to say la ilaha illallah. And I'm witness of that. So please keep her and all our brothers and sister reverts in your dua, inshallah. May Allah keep her steadfast. Ameen, ya Rabbi Ameen. Thank you so much, Katie. Tayyip, let's get to it, inshallah ta'ala. Everybody knows the need and everybody heard the speeches, mashallah. So alhamdulillah, Rabbi Ameen. Let's start this fundraising. I know I can tell from your faces, you are all very, very hungry, right? By the way, there are, there's hummus on the table. Keep eating hummus till we get our target. <laughs> Hummus to the target. <laughs> Yalla. Bismillah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim. First, we're going to start by kicking out the shaytan because Allah said, the shaytan ya'idukum al-fakr. Shaytan promise you poverty. Okay? So, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim. I want everybody, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim. La ilaha illallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim. Bismillah. Let's start with $100,000. $100,000 investment. You know, Sheikh Yasser said something very beautiful. Anytime you ask someone, what are you saving money for? They say, I'm saving for the future of my children. The future of our children is either Jannah or Nar. <laughs> that is the future. That is the real future. That is the real future. Alhamdulillah, it's great to invest in education and all that. Excellent. But the real future is Jannah or Nar. What's the use of a graduate of Yale or, or Harvard or MIT that does not pray? That does not believe in Allah. That does not believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So, ya akhwan, let's really invest. I want you, before you donate a penny, think about your daughter. Think about your son. I'm doing it for them. Bismillah. $100,000. Yalla ya shabab. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. Habibi. <laughs> My brother Suhail. May Allah bless you and protect you. $100,000. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. May Allah increase you. May Allah protect you. May Allah give you from sources you've never expected. Allahu Akbar. $100,000. Sisters, you can text your husbands and tell them to donate otherwise and leave it empty. Donate otherwise. <laughs> Yalla ya shabab. $100,000, we have 100000 Anybody else for 100000 Anybody else? 100000 
You can text me. I know you love to text. MashaAllah, I got 20 texts already. No name. $100,000. Takbir. Takbir. Allah Akbar. May Allah bless him and protect him and increase him. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. 200,000. Brother Abu, Abu Bilal, where's the, where's the figure? 200,000 already, MashaAllah. One more, one more 100,000. Anybody? Sisters, for the sake of Allah, for the sake of our future, for putting the foundation that everyone who will invest in the future, we will get the ajr because we started that foundation, subhanAllah. 100,000. Anybody else? Or we can do this later. <laughs> MashaAllah. Brothers of Fukhar, you're going to be doing the next fundraising, inshallah. <laughs> SubhanAllah, I was telling them the other day, the property of the masjid have raised all the real estate around it, and especially Medina and Andalus. And I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to raise the owners in the Jannah on the Day of Judgment. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Medina and Andalus, $100,000. Takbir, takbir. Subhanallah, my brothers and sisters from Medina and Andalus, I'm so jealous of you. Allah have chosen you to be his neighbors. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless you and protect you. $100,000. Anybody else? I don't want to miss anyone. $100,000. Okay, quickly, I know you're hungry. $75,000. $75,000. Brothers, I know you can do it. 75000 Remember, my daughter, my, my, my son, my grandkids, we're doing it for them. Allah is for them. 75000 Amran, you have any 75000 Or any close? <laughs> 75000 brothers? Keep the somewhere. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Allahu Akbar. You see the beautiful children that stood up here and recited and uh, uh, played the, the nasheed and subhanallah. Wallahi, ya akhwan, when you see the masjid producing boys and girls that are memorizing the book of Allah and every time that book is recited, huh, we will get the ajr. And on top of that, $55,000 from the Hif school. $55,000, takbir. Ya Allah, make them the pioneers of the, the Huff schools all over the United States. Ya Allah, make them the source of barakah for their parents. Ya Allah, make them a reason for their parents to enter Jannah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. $55,000, the Huff school. So he brought me down from 75 to 55. All right, let's take to $50,000. $50,000. 50k 50,000 sisters brothers 50,000 dollars raise your hand ya akhi for the sake of allah 50,000 dollars for the sake of our future our children our grandchildren subhanallah let me tell you the story a few days ago sheikh a brother called me and i was busy and i did not answer him listen carefully so I called him back around two and a half hours later. He said, Salaamu Alaikum, brother. I'm sorry I missed your call. I was busy. What's going on? He said, brother, it's too late. I said, what happened? He said, there was an investment opportunity for $1.5 million, $50,000 minimum. If you put $50,000, you get 10 to 15% in one year. Sold out in two hours because of a promise of a human being. Because of a promise of a human being. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Ghani himself, he said, Ad'afan kathira, I will multiply it many folds. And we sit down here for hours, and everybody's hesitant to give. And two hours, 1.5 million was raised for dunya gain. For dunya gain. Like this, subhanallah, gone. So why can't we do the same and better for guaranteed Guaranteed by Allah Azza wa Jal. Jannat, Arduha Samawatu al Ard. 
$50,000. Yalla ya shabab. $50,000. If I tell you it's going to become five hundred, dollars would you invest? Takbir. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. My Habibi. But I know his name. Ishtiyaq Ahmed. Allahu Akbar. Barakallah feek, brother Ishtiyaq. Barakallah feek. May Allah increase you. May Allah protect you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you for us so you can give us more and more. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Brother Ishtiyaq, $50,000. $50,000. Anybody else? 50000 Brothers, sisters, 50000 MashaAllah. My WhatsApp group, United Epic Brothers, $50,000. Takbir. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Brother Javed, Isa, and friends, $50,000. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, may Allah bless him and protect him and protect his family and his friends. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Yalla Ya Shabab, $50,000. Let's get one more, 50000 Anybody else? It's going to become 500 or maybe more. Allah is ghani, $50,000. Anybody? One more, 50000 Come on, brothers. $50,000. I got a text from Sheikh Yasser. I have to double check. Sheikh Yasser, are these zeros right? Are these zeros right? Or am I missing a zero? I'm adding a zero. Come, please announce it yourself. I, I cannot announce these numbers. Unbelievable. Brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, listen to this. We have an anonymous donor. He has asked that his name remain completely secret. He has said that for every single dollar that is raised tonight, he is going to match it up to one million dollars. If we can, if we can, if we can donate to a million, he's going to match it to a million to get a maximum of two million. We have to do this tonight, brothers and sisters. We're not going to get this opportunity again. Tonight, we're going to raise a million from us and one brother right now sitting here. And I asked him, are you sure you're texting me? He said, I, I, he, this is what his, his text message is, that he feels epic is the best connected to our culture to make sure it's preserving Islam for the children. He feels epic is the best investment in order to make sure Islam lasts here in this country. So one million dollars, but on the condition, what's the condition? That all of us match it. So we're going to match it tonight, inshallah ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. Let's go all over again. <laughs> Let's go all over again. Uh, $100,000. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to let this million go. I'm telling you. I'm not going to let this million go. And none of you, none of you will. Can we please, somebody, give me $100,000, please. How, many, how much do we have, Amran? 500 so far? Allahu Akbar. 500,000 so far. $500,000 so far. So we have only 500 left. Yalla ya shabab. One 100 and we will continue. One 100. $8,000 a month. Investment with Allah Azza wa Jal. Anybody? Tayyip. <laughs> Let's go back to $50,000. Sisters. Anybody, sisters? Tayyip, $50,000. $50,000. MashaAllah, the sisters, Allahu Akbar. The sisters committee, $45,000. $45,000. May Allah bless our sisters. May Allah bless our mothers. May Allah bless our daughters. May Allah protect them. May Allah protect them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. Jazakumullah khair, sisters. $45,000. $50,000, Ya Akhwan. For the sake of Allah, $50,000. You're investing with the Kareem. You're investing with the most generous, with Allah Azza wa Jal. $50,000. Don't let the shaitan remind you of every single bill. 
$50,000. Imran, any $50,000? Okay. Okay, Zakallah khair for the brother who texted. $50,000. Takbir. Takbir. $50,000. What do we got? How much do we have? Six fifty. Look, I'm sorry, 500, ya akhi. It was 500 before. 600, right? $600,000. 600. Any other 50s? 50? You can text me. All of you know my number. And I, all, I know all your names. If I don't know your name, your name is? Habibi. Habibi. <laughs> ah, yeah, you mentioned it. Yeah, that's the one I mentioned. <laughs> okay. $30,000. 30000 Anybody for 30000 That's $2,500 a month. $30,000. Yalla, ya shabab. I know some of you that make this in a weekly basis. I don't want to mention your names. <laughs> $30,000. Yalla ya shabab. 30000 For the sake of Allah. For the sake of our children. For the sake of our future. $30,000. Sisters. $30,000. $2,500 a month. $30,000. One brother, just raise your hand for 30000 Yalla ya akhwan. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Thirty thousand dollars. Amran, do you have anything for thirty? He's uh, he's thirty-nine. Allahu akbar. Epic basketball team. <laughs> Mashallah. Epic basketball team. Forty thousand dollars takbir takbir may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them better than jordan and better than lebron <laughs> that's a new dua <laughs> may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our our basketball players Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Just, i ask for 30 we get 40. come on brothers twenty five thousand dollars now this we can do inshallah twenty five thousand we need a few of them Few 25,000 brothers, sisters, $25,000. Yalla, ya shabab, raise your hand. $25,000. May Allah bless you and protect you. $25,000. Come on, shabab. $25,000. For the sake of Allah. Ya ayyuhal amanu. You never see an ayah in the Quran, all oh, who you believe save. All oh, who you believe spend, spend, spend. 25,000. Yalla ya shabab, 25,000. No name, $25,000. No name. May Allah bless him and protect him and increase him. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Say Ameen ya akhwan. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. 25,000. One more, 25. Yalla ya shabab, 25. I'm getting hungry myself. 25,000. Masha Allah. Our brothers and sisters from Ikna, subhanallah. With all the great work that they do in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. Also, they are helping Epic. $25,000 from Ikna. Takbir. May Allah bless all my brothers and sisters in Ikna. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them immensely. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. 25000 We want to make the million. We're not going to let this million go. What's the total, ya Shabab? What's the total? 690 Yani 10 Three hundred and ten thousand dollars. Let's get a couple of twenty-five. Twenty-five thousand. 
Barakallah feek, brother Arab. May Allah bless him. May Allah protect him. May Allah increase him. May Allah protect his two huffaz and make them a reason for him to enter Jannah. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. By the way, brother Arab is not Arab. He's Haider Abadi. <laughs> MashaAllah. <laughs> May Allah bless you, brother Arab. Anybody else? Anybody from name Hindi who's Arabi? <laughs> 25,000. I ask for 25, I get 50. Subhanallah. Let me ask for 50, I get 100. <laughs> $50,000. Talha Hashmi. Takbir. Takbir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and bless his children. May Allah protect him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase him. May Allah make his children a reason for him and his wife to enter Jannah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. 25,000. MashaAllah, the 25 looks good. 25. 25,000. By the way, we, the raffle will be while you're eating. We have a raffle for $100 and $50 gift cards. So please, while you're eating, we will do the raffle, inshallah. And we have a couple of swords at the end. We are going to auction also. 25,000. One more 25. Please, brothers, just one more. I will continue. One more 25. One. Shabab, 25. Subhanallah, you know what happened? Many, many of you, I know, are in too many groups. <laughs> and they gave to this group and to that group. And Subhanallah, may Allah reward you immensely. 25,000, just one more, 25. Anybody? Okay, طيب. let's go down to $15,000. $15,000. Yalla ya shabab, 15,000. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Social Services WhatsApp group, $20,000. Takbir. May Allah bless all its members, brothers and sisters. The Mass family. This is the beauty of Dallas. This is the beauty of Dallas. When I first came from New York, and I saw a brother from another masjid appealing at Epic. I went to the management and I said, are you okay? Is something wrong with you? You will, you will get killed in New York if you have somebody from another masjid appealing in your masjid. Subhanallah. Our brothers and sisters from Mass, $20,000. May Allah bless Mass and all their activities. And by the way, Abdurrahman from Urtugal is coming on the 20th. Ha, Marwan? MashaAllah, <laughs> Barakallah Feek. Everybody who loves Urtugal, go to Mass on the 20th. 20,000, any more 20,000s? MashaAllah, keep the cards coming. $15,000? 15? MashaAllah, 15 or 20? Which one is that, Dr. Munir? 20? Allahu Akbar. Dr. Munir, Habibi. <laughs> Barakallah Feek. May Allah reward you and increase you. You're always there. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you and protect you. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. $20,000. MashaAllah. 15000 Anybody else? Allahu Akbar. Habibi. Hada <laughs> real Habibi. Akram Habibi, MashaAllah. Very dear to me. May Allah bless him and bless his beautiful boys bless his family may allah increase him we saw each other in hajj amazing brother barakallah feek he's from the first first batch of epic bless you brother akram brother akram fifteen thousand dollars mashallah anybody else for 15 15 what's the number what's the number muhsin 840 yalla ya shabab fifteen thousand Wallahi, I'm getting hungry. 15,000. Sisters, come on. Sisters, $15,000. You've been quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> Surprisingly. $15,000. Shabab, one more 15. Don't let me name you. 15,000. I know you all. <laughs> $15,000. My brother from Dubai in the back, without my naming, $15,000. 
Yes, oh, no, maybe. <laughs> Text me. <laughs> ah. Allahu Akbar. I was wondering why is he quiet? Turned out that he, ter he texted me a while ago. <laughs> $25,000, no name. $25,000. May Allah bless him. May Allah protect him. I love this man. He's always there. Anytime I ask him for help in the community, mashallah, he's amazing. May Allah bless him and bless his boys and girl. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I'm sorry again, I did not see this one. MashaAllah, this brother, he lost his father and mother in a period of two, three months. And he's donating $25,000 on behalf of his parents. Wallahi, this is the best investment for your parents. Because this is a program, this is a project that's going to keep giving. And how beautiful to keep giving my mother and father that passed away. Barakallah feek, my brother. May Allah reward you and increase you. $25,000. Anybody else for 15? On behalf of your mother, on behalf of your father. Subhanallah, what they have done to us. We can give something in return for them. As an investment like Rasulullah told us, that the sadaqah gets to them. Anybody? Okay. I know the sisters are going to raise their hand for $10,000. $10,000. Come on, sisters. Just give me one $10,000 from the sisters. Sisters, one $10,000. Who's going to be that sister that's going to be so courageous and raise her hand and say, I want to donate $10,000. Sisters, just one sister. One sister is going to represent all sisters, $10,000. Anybody? Tayyip. Galley cricket. Who loves cricket? Raise your hand. Who's very happy that... No, no, no. <laughs> Don't go there. $12,000, Galley Cricket, $12,000. MashaAllah. My beautiful neighbor, Dr. Yasser, $10,000. Takbir, may Allah bless him and bless his family. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. You have more things? MashaAllah, our security team, Many people do not know that our security team are volunteers. Volunteers, they, these people that you see, mashallah, big guys, fully loaded, these are volunteers. <laughs> and also they donated $8,000, takbir. May Allah bless them all. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them from the people who get the azure of protecting the Muslims while they're praying. Subhanallah. Wallahi ya akhwan. Can the sisters be quiet for a second? I know it's very hard, but try your best, sisters, please. Just for a little bit, inshallah. Quiet for a little bit. Wallahi, nobody knows how much our board go through. Wallahi, you, you know, that's what kills me when many people complain. Come see what they're going through on a daily basis, and they are all volunteers. Subhanallah, I came to Fajr today. I saw the brothers working, no names. They're working from Isha to Fajr to finish that video that you watched. They did not sleep. And on top of that, $10,000 from the board. Takbir. May Allah bless them and protect them and bless their families. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah bless their families who have that much patience. Subhanallah. Jazakumullah khair. Sanabil Foundation, $10,000, subhanAllah. Sanabil Foundation, $10,000. Green Vine Supermarket, 
$15,000 takbir. Ah, this is my Habibi? <laughs> Brother Saeed, no, no name? Amran, no name? I, I said it already. Brother Saeed, $10,000. May Allah bless him and protect him and increase him and give him from sources he've never expected. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Brother Saeed, $10,000. $10,000? How? What's the numbers? 965? 965. Yalla, ya shabab. Let's go down so I can give an opportunity for everybody else. $5,000? $5,000. 10? MashaAllah. <laughs> My beloved, should I mention your name or no? My Habibi, brother Najib. From Fahman Trading, $10,000. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless you, Habibi. May Allah protect you and protect your children and grandchildren. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. $10,000. $5,000. Anybody for $5,000? MashaAllah, Brother Ghazi, $5,000. Barakallah Feek, $5,000. Fill up the pledge, please. $5,000. Anybody else? I know many people are waiting for the $5,000. $5,000. MashaAllah. $10,000. High Tech Bangala Group. $10,000. MashaAllah. Takbir. May Allah bless him and bless his family. This brother just moved recently to our community. IT Committee. How much is that? $5,100? $5,100. The IT Committee. SubhanAllah. Brother Firoz Azam. $5,000. Takbir. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. How far are we? 980. We're almost there. Almost there. Assalamu alaikum. Our anonymous donor, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him, is so enthused, he's raised the bar. So he's going to double up to 1.1 million. So we're going to raise 1.1 million to make it 2.2 million. We are epic. We're going to make epic fundraisers and we're going to make epic history tonight, inshallah ta'ala. Let's go back to 50,000. <laughs> 50,000 dollars. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Ya shabab. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless the brother. May Allah increase him. May Allah protect him. Brother Bashir Sheikh, $5,000. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. $5,000. Yalla, ya shabab. Please send me the cards. We want to hit it. What's the total? One million. Allahu Akbar. One million dollars. Takbir. 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 Allahu Akbar. What's his name? Muhammad? Brother Muhammad Sayyid. One hundred dollars. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. This is the barakah. This is the barakah. Subhanallah. Just don't imitate him. <laughs> Give a hundred dollars. This is for the kids. It's good. But for you, no, inshallah. Muhammad Aziz. Five thousand dollars. Habibi. <laughs> Brother Mizan. Five thousand dollars. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. This is my real Habib. Look at this beautiful boy. <laughs> if you tell everybody, how, what's my name? What's my name? Say, what's my name? Tell them, what's my name? <laughs> One more time. Say, say, loud, loud. Bajur. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Let's see. Whoa, $100 from Jibril. Ya Allah, Ya Kareem, may I make him the coolness of the eyes of Brother Sajjad. This is our beloved Sajjad's son. May Allah protect him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make him from the Salihin and make him a reason for him and Sister Uzma to enter Jannah. <laughs> 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 Brother Mizan, 
Brother Ghazi, mashallah, and now I got the card, $5,000. Brother Kareem, may Allah bless you, Brother Kareem, Habibi, $5,000. Epic Ansar, $4,000. The special needs, subhanallah. Maybe some of you did not notice that we have Saturday school just for special needs. And I want to say extreme Jazakallah khair to Sister Farah and Sister Farakunda that they are running the program. May Allah reward them immensely. They are taking care of all our special needs kids and they have donated $3,300. Takbir. What's the number? Okay, come on, why don't you announce it? This brother wants to announce his donation. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Allah Akbar. He's very handsome like his father. Jazakallah <laughs> khair, Habibi. Five hundred dollars. May Allah bless you. And one day you're going to be standing here instead of me and raising money, inshallah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Okay, you can give this to Baba. Qalam Collegiate Academy. Five thousand dollars. May Allah bless them. They are doing great job for our sisters, for our daughters. It's an all-girls school. The only all-girls school in Dallas. You have daughters, enroll them here. Epic Youth, $5,000. MashaAllah. Tiles and wheels, $4,000. MashaAllah. Brothers and sisters, we have to get to at least 1.1 million. We have to get that much. We can get there, inshallah. What's our score? What's our maximum right now? So we literally have 60,000 left. We can do this. 60,000. Tonight, we are going to break every record in the book. We have never raised 2.2 million dollars in one night. Tonight, we will do that, inshallah ta'ala, and we're going to raise our bar for an all-time high, only to be broken next time and next time and next time. That's what Epic is all about. We're going to give so that Allah continues to give us back more. Only 60,000 left. We can do it. Between you and the food is $60,000. Divided by 1,000 people, that's literally 600 per person. So, bismillah, let's go for it, and let's get this done with, alhamdulillah. Barakallah fiqh, Sheikh. You know what, since the Sheikh proposed that, I know that there's a lot of you who wants to give the thousand dollars. So please, you know what? I don't want you to raise your hand. I want you to stand up. Thousand dollars, stand up, please. Stand up, yalla. Ah, Allahu Akbar. Abu Habibi. <laughs> Abu Murad, 1,000. Yalla, ya shabab, 1,000. MashaAllah, Brother Aslam, 1,000. 1,000. Yalla, ya shabab, 1,000 dollars. Allahu Akbar, look at the youth in the back. 1,000, Brother Ahmed. MashaAllah, $1,000. MashaAllah, Brother Atif, $1,000. $1,000. Yalla ya shabab, $1,000. Sisters, come on. MashaAllah, my sister, $1,000. Allahu Akbar. Sisters, $1,000. Don't itch your head. Itch, $1,000. Itch, no itch. $1,000. <laughs> $1,000. Can't see from the light. Alhamdulillah, mass has raised the bar, sisters have raised the bar, and security team has raised the bar. From the three of them, they already gave. We can add 12,000 in the last minute, alhamdulillah. So they gave, but they want to give even more. So those of you that have given, realize you are doubling. Whatever you're giving right now, you're getting double, inshallah. So buy one, get one free, inshallah. Give one for the sake of Allah, and one is coming, and you will get the ajr of that, inshallah. Bismillah. $1,000? One thousand, Masha Allah, Allah Akbar. Dalika Shiblu min had al Asad. Subhanallah. One thousand dollars, Masha Allah, brother Barakallah Fik, Habibi. One thousand dollars, Masha Allah, who's that? Ah, Habibi Ashfaq. One thousand dollars, Allah Akbar. Masha Allah, our teachers. One thousand dollars, sisters. Eighty dollars a month. Masha Allah, sister Bibi. One thousand dollars, Allah Akbar. Barakallah Fik. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Who's that? I can't see you. <laughs> Habibi, one thousand dollars. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Allah Barik Fik. Blue fig, fifteen hundred dollars. Masha Allah. Brother Atif Saeed, one thousand dollars. Doctor Shahid, one thousand dollars. 
Brother Nazim, $1,500. Brother Zahran, $1,200. Brother Naeem Khan, $500. Allahu Akbar. Brother Mas'ud, $1,000. Brother Muhammad Awad, $1,000. This is a joke. All right, Brother Saqib, $1,000. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. What's the number, Ya Muhsin? Habibi. Yalla, $29,000. $29,000. I have Brother Mubashar, $5,000. Mubashar, $5,000. Allahu Akbar. Brother Mubashar, Habibi. Brother Zakir just moved from New York, $1,000. May Allah bless him and make his move very easy. I mean, Brother Zakir, $1,000. Who's that? Oh, this is that. Allahu Akbar. Brother Shahid Hassan, $10,000. Yalla, we're almost there. $10,000. The brothers with the, and the sisters for a thousand, do not say, what's my thousand going to do? Wallahi, we do not know where the barakah is. It could be in your $100. Wallahi, don't ever think it's about the quantity. It's about where it's coming from. It's about where it is coming from. It's not about the quantity. So give as much as you can. 100, 200. Don't let this opportunity go without investing. Let's invest in our children. Yalla, ya shabab. Alhamdulillah, we have a, a donation of 10,000 from one of our board members, Brother Samir. Everybody knows him. And his brother, Brother Naveed, on behalf of their parents. They want to give $10,000. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them forgiveness, grant them firdaus. May Allah make the sadaqah jariya for them. Brother Samir and all of the board, wallahi, they give so much time and they are just volunteers. Every time we come, they're doing something. They're always at the forefront. Brother Basir in particular, I know he doesn't like being mentioned, but all of the AV, everything he's doing, mashallah. You know, Brother Imran over here, all of our board members, you know, wallahi, we thank Allah that we have these dedicated volunteers as board members doing so much. Alhamdulillah, the least we can do, make dua for them. Make dua for them and if there's something of criticism praise them and then give constructive inshallah but alhamdulillah how close are we alhamdulillah 1.1 1. 1. alhamdulillah 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 so we have 1.1 million double 2.2 million and we're still going strong alhamdulillah Allahu Akbar one more time, Takbir, Allahu Akbar. Third time, Takbir, Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. All right, quickly, let me go through these names so we can be fair. Brother Bilal, Brother uh, Eagle Electronics, Brother Farhan Khan, Brother Omar Javed, Brother Muhammad Shahid, Brother Sulaiman Abdul Rahim, No Name, Faraz Sayyid, Mas'ud Ahmed, No Name, Amanda, all these are $500. Hayyan and Mir Hussein. May Allah reward you immensely. Okay, brother just texted me $2,500. $2,500. No name. On behalf of my parents. MashaAllah. Brother Zakir. Ah, no name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Another 500, so 1500 dollars. May Allah bless you. No name. I should have started from the beginning. No name. 2500 dollars. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless him. The brother just moved recently. Brother Froze Latif. 1000 dollars. How much shall we have? 11? Okay, yalla, we're gonna eat quickly. Uh, Brother Mustafa Idris, $1,000, no name, $5,000. Allahu Akbar, no name, $5,000. Okay, what's the total? Brother, where's Brother uh, Sheikh Yasir? I have a challenge for you. Mohsen, can you uh, put the, to uh, the total? What's the total? That's the total? No, no, there's, I just added another five. There must be more than this. 
They're still adding. They're still adding. Alhamdulillah. 1,109. One okay. Ten. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to challenge Sheikh Yasir. Alhamdulillah. Fadal. Ask your guy if he can give another 100,000, I will give another 100. <laughs> Khalas, I'm texting right now. Okay. If he can give 100,000, Sunday halaqa, $111,000. Takbir! My Sunday halaqa brothers, $111,000. Let's do it. I'm waiting for his text. Let's see. <laughs> Inshallah, let's do it. Takbir! <laughs> Takbir! Allahu Akbar. Allah. So that's another 200, huh? Another 200. Alhamdulillah. So Alhamdulillah. this is history. The highest we have ever raised since I came. 2,200,000. Today is 2,400,000. Thousand dollars. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allahumma laka alhamdu hatta tarda. Wa laka alhamdu idha radit. Wa laka alhamdu ba'da rida. Wallahi, this is all from Allah. This is all from Allah. Don't ever think it's us or it's me or it's Sheikh Yasser. This is all from Allah that softened your hearts and gave you this wealth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy for us to give. May Allah protect you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiply it many, many folds for the brothers who donated and the sisters and for the ones who really wanted to donate and they could not make it. May Allah bless them and forgive them and protect them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I have brother Murad. Let's just put Just this. one other thing. Well, let's get to a quarter of a million. So as you exit, just continue to give. Let's get to a quarter of a million. We can do it, inshallah ta'ala. We're going to raise history tonight. We also have some special prizes or special? special. Very special. Assalamu okay. alaikum warahmatullah. Special youth style auction, guys. One of our youth, epic youth, made this sword with his own hands. And not only this, there's four swords tonight. This one is very unique, including the sheath. You can get this sword engraved with your name on it or on the sheath, inshallah, tonight. So for $1,000, it's made out of real Damascan steel. Look at this. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Sheikh Yasser, it's sharp. I know, I'll stand here. I know, yeah, I mean. Careful, careful, so, look behind you. Behind you. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. $1,000. Who, oh, back there. We got one and two. Wait a minute. So we got three. Allah Mubarak. Auction it, bro. We have three. Oh, then we have to yeah, challenge. Like Can we do? Who does? Who would do fifteen hundred? Two thousand. Come on, guys. Abdullah, Abdullah in the back. Twenty-five hundred. That's her. That's her. Her. her uh, Abdullah. Donation. Okay, go ahead. Abdullah, sister. this is yours. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Allah Mubarak. Yeah, go ahead. It's very short. I know. You know. What? Okay, mashallah, our, uh, our beautiful little sister is donating all the money that she saved, mashallah. Takbir. Takbir. Mashallah. We have a young donor here as well. What's your name? Gamal. Gamal is donating from his savings $50 as well, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Sister Sahna. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Sorry, sister. I'm very sorry. No name. One sister, $2,500. You saw the first one? The first one was gone for $2,500. This one has a different grip. It can also have your name customized on it. Also made out of Damascan steel with a very unique print. It's completely sharpened. Uh, Sheikh, I know it's very controversial, Sheikh. If Dr. Yasser gets a picture with this thing, he's going to get into big trouble, man. Them YouTube guys are going to grab it. <laughs> Never let it go. One thousand dollars, one thousand dollars sold. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Brother, you can come up, inshallah, and write your name on the paper next to it. That way, we know it's for you, inshallah. Our next prototype, look at this. The Conan the Barbarian type sword. 
Inshallah, it doesn't have any edges. Allahu Akbar, this thing is thick. JB Weld, Mashallah, you guys are doing good. Allahumma barik. It's kind of heavy. It's very nice. It feels real. $1,000. $1,000 for this beautiful prototype right there. Sold. Allahumma barik. Jazakumullah khair. Come up and write your name on it. Write your name so we know who it's for, inshallah. It's going to be on the table right there. Ziad, one more. There's more? Our last sword for the night. Another Damascan steel sword. The same as the other one. Beautiful grip. Wallahi, this thing is this thing is amazing. Shit, I don't know why I keep taking them out. It just feels right. I don't I watched Urtugul a couple times and Lama it. This is it? There's four only. No, I, I switched. There's yeah. Did we do we did three? Did three already, four. Yeah, that one that's it. Yeah, yeah. We're this is the last one. Sisters! <laughs> yeah, no, right nobody interested in right the sword. Abu Sajid. Huh? $1,000. All the way in the back, where? Abu Sajid. Raise your hand. Oh, there we go. MashaAllah. $1,000. Jazakumullah khair, Abu Sajid. We'll put, write okay. your name on it, inshallah. You can, right. you can pick it up from the front. And now the raffle. All right, brothers and sisters, I know you're busy eating, but now we're going to do the raffle. Everybody who has the raffle, check your numbers, please. We're going to start one with the brothers first. Look at your numbers. $100, $100 gift card for the number. This time everybody's here, so we know that we're not going to waste time. 837-2013. 837-2013. hundred percent the person is here because we took the numbers from you. 837 you got it? Takbir. One hundred dollars. MashaAllah. Good job. Okay, sisters. Sisters, look at your numbers. One hundred dollars. 837-1262 837-1262 The sister is here for sure MashaAllah Brothers, fifty dollars for the brothers, fifty dollar gift card. Look at your numbers eight three seven one two eight seven one two eight seven one two eight seven. I know, brothers, you're very hungry. Check your cards. <laughs> One, two, eight, seven. I know you're here. All right. I'm going to get another one. Eight, three, seven, zero, nine, one, zero. Zero, nine, one, zero. Oh, this is sisters. I'm sorry. Eight three seven zero nine one zero sisters zero nine one zero yes oh mashallah okay brothers Let's see what I have left. $50 for the brothers. 
1831 ابو مزمل ما شاء الله Last one for the sisters, $100 gift card. One, two, six, one. Eight, three, seven. One, two, six, one. Oh, mashallah. All right. $100. Hey, you know the sister? Okay, brothers and sisters, Jazakumullah khair, barakallah fikum, enjoy your food, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, Isha will be at 9.15, 9.15, 20 minutes from now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I know everyone's enjoying their meals and conversating, but I wanted to ask you, would you mind, or do you all want to listen to have a sajjad and have a nadeem recite a nasheed to you all, or no? If you want to listen to a nasheed, raise your hand. Khalas. Guys, it's a done deal. You must come up. You see, I told them, they doubted. I told them, you have to give a nasheed, inshallah ta'ala. We want an encore. Yalla, bismillah. Even if it's by yourselves. All good. Come on, guys. We got two mics. Look at this. Perfect.
So let's just go on the side, and whenever you're done, just come up and say, Smoy Lai Yusuf. Can you request the audience to participate if they're not eating? Yeah, please do it. I would like to request the audience if they can participate with us, inshallah. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ورفعنا لك ذكرك رسول صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم طال أنت شمس أنت بدر أنت نور على نور 
أنت مصباح الثريا يا حبيبي يا رسول رسول الله حبيب الله نبي الله شفيع الله صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم طلع البدر علينا من ثنيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا طالع النور المبين نور خير المرسلين نور أمن وسلام نور حق ويقين سوقه الله تعالى رحمة وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين رسول الله حبيب الله نبي الله شفيع صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم طال البدر علينا من ثاني جئت بالأمر المطاع جئت شرفت المدينة مرحبا يا خير داع مرحبا يا خير داع يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما مولا يا صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم مولا يا صلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم صلي على النبي وتبسم تنبي تبسم وتبسم تنبي تبسم اللهم صلي عليه 
بذكر الرسول تشهد الهمة يا ربي بجاه النبي أزيح الغمة يا ربي بجاه النبي أزيح الغمة قمرون قمرون قمر سن النبي قمرون وجميل وجامل سن النبي وجميل محمد نبينا بنور هدينا من مكة حبيب نور ستاع المدينة من صلى صلاة وتحل بصفاته يا بخت اللي فضله ماشي اشفالوا في ما ماتوا جزاك الله خيرا تكبير